guys. We came to Rolling Loud Toronto. They popped out to the country. We're in Canada, so you already know we had to pop out here. Let's go, let's check out the festival, come on. All right, we popped out to Rolling Loud a little bit later than we thought. First set that we're gonna go see, The Man, Destroy Lonely. I feel like it's gonna be a lit set. We went to a show in Toronto. That shit was lit, so this one's about to be even more lit. Destroy Lonely Acapella Nowhere else other than one track Mine and Rolling Loud Toronto Alright, just finished up with Destroy Lonely It was cool, we saw BK there She remembered me from Summer Smash Content coming soon Alright, so we have Rolling Loud in Toronto I got like the whole Power Ranger lineup. Knew I wasn't gonna play in my city. I ain't gonna lie. Josh, 1 million followers, 2023. Next year, refer back to this. I got my head in the sky, couple of them cuts give me right. I'm a bitch, just turn up. She get out. What's going on, y'all? We're about to see Central C perform, but before we do, we gotta ask the fans of Central C. Are they really homophobic or not? Let's go. Question, quick question. So tell me real quick, are you guys homophobic? No, absolutely not. Why are you not homophobic? Why would anybody be? Are you guys homophobic? No. Why? Because we make out with each other. Um, so tell me real quick, are you homophobic? No, I'm not. Why? Because... Wait, what is bitches <laughs> Yo, quick question for you guys. Are you staying around to watch Central C? Of course, I'm here for him. So tell me, are you homophobic? No. Why? <laughs> you real quick, are you here to see Central C? No, but everyone keeps saying I look like him, so I guess I am. Or bro, are you homophobic though? Oh no. Why? Why would I be? What's the reason as to why or not? Discriminate against someone just because their sexuality or race or anything. Preach positivity, we're all human. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. So are you prepped right now to see Central C? Yeah. Yeah, you're excited to see him? Central C? He's a person. He's one of the artists performing at this stage in like 10 minutes. Oh, shit. Yeah, I wasn't here in 10 minutes, so. You're not here in 10 minutes? Yeah. Uh, the lady? Which lady? Bia? Yeah, I think so. Do you bust it down with Bia? No, we're not. Okay. Bust it down with Bia. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm with the Legends of Canada. Much music. Yeah. Yeah. to watch Central C. So you already know that brings up the question. Are you guys homophobic? No. No. Why? Because my bitch is gay. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit man in the top track. See a man top plus even a bitch is gay. I'll give my brothers and say that I love them. But I don't swing that way. The man who celebrate E. The trap's still running on Christmas Day. All right, y'all, we just finished watching Central C set. That was kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. He's definitely a good performer, my first time seeing him. We're about to close out Rolling Loud day one. I'm gonna see you soon. Hey, what's going on, y'all? We're here today at Livestock Toronto. We're about to get this OGZ interview in. I'm looking forward to it, asking him all your questions from the Instagram DMs. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're at day two of Rolling Loud right now. We're gonna try and get into the Loud Club because that's where we scheduled our interviews. Today we have some crazy stuff on the way, but we're gonna go see my boy Dom Valley perform. Let's get it. You already know y'all at Rolling Loud Toronto. You already know who I'm here with, Mr. DJ. Charlie B. You know what I'm saying? We live on one track mind, you feel me? Hell yeah. All right, y'all, we're with probably the biggest goon in the Bronx, King of the Bronx, come on. It's Killer Cam, I'm with my boy Josh. This is my real friend right here. If y'all have ever seen the OG, OG interview with Flip De Niro, it's the man that hooked it up. Uh, we in Toronto, I think this kid in Chicago. Yeah, you already know, DJ Killer Cam, King of the Bronx. Right around right, town with a man so they can't see my face. I gave him a L, I hit him with that K. They gon' rub you wrong, but just stay a racer. What's going on, y'all? Tory Lanez on stage right now, rolling out Toronto 2022. We're gonna turn up, we're gonna vibe out. Out here, bro. We already out here. You already know, we out here. You heard him. Come on. Lancey Foul, Lancey Foo, Lancey, I don't really care because this man is lit, going absolutely crazy, rolling out 2022. Lancey Foo or Lancey Foul? Yo, Lancey Foo, bro. This shit's going fucking crazy, bro. This guy's a crazy performer. Lancey Foo or Lancey Foul? Oh, Lancey Foul. Lancey Foo or Lancey Foul? Dude, I don't know. Lancey Foul, man. I guess it's Lancey Foul. Feel me? Rookie McQueen. Rookie McQueen. Shit. It is so easy. Go keep blood in my eyes because I go watch for the schemas. Love her eyes if she wanna look at you again. Yo, 
Lancey just dedicated this one to the queen. Rest in peace. Shout out Lancey. Shout out England. Shout out the queen. Rest in peace. Yo, Future and Trippy couldn't perform. Let's ask people why they think they couldn't perform. What's the reason why Future and Trippy couldn't perform? Honestly, that's the main reason why I came here. Future is one of my favorite rappers. I heard he delivered one of his baby mama's kids backstage. That's why he no. got canceled. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I heard. No, and where's reason. Uzi? You didn't hear? What? You didn't hear about Uzi? No. So his manager happened? his pants right before the set. So he was actually here? Yeah, Uzi was here, but his manager his pants so they couldn't bring him out. Stop. I swear. <laughs> what do you have to say about Future not showing up because he was delivering his baby mama's child backstage? I'm speechless. What, what do you think he should name his child? Future Joseph Catanella. <laughs> Joseph Catanella. <laughs> I bet. Joseph Catanella it is. So what do you guys have to say about Trippy Red canceling his set? So he saw Jaleel do a backflip off stage at Rolling Loud Miami and he tried mimicking it in soundcheck. He's like, oh, I'm trying to backflip just like Jaleel. I'm from Vancouver. I don't know what the fuck going on. But what would you recommend for Trippy next time? Probably not to do that. <laughs> Probably do Fair? anything else before here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good night. Yo, my bad. I forgot to vlog this part. We finished up day two at Trippy Red. We didn't go to Trippy Red because he didn't come out. People were saying, oh, there's gunshots. He ended up coming out like two hours late. So did Future. Literally everybody at Rolling Loud was waiting hours for both of these acts to come out. So a lot of people ended up leaving the venue, us included. I apologize for not grabbing content of that. That night we stayed up, tried getting content in with K-Suave. It didn't end up materializing. And maybe when we're in LA, day three. Yo, what's going on, yo? We made our way backstage at Rolling Loud Toronto. I'm with the GOATs. Fat Nick, Kevin. You already know, the Rolling Loud legends. This is what, how many Rolling Louds have you guys done collectively over time? 1,055. I've done them all, so I'm happy to be here. We're about to turn up. Toronto's gonna show them some love. We'll catch up with you guys when you get on stage, you know? Just finished up at Fat Nick and Puyo's set. Try to go back to GA for a little bit. Turn up with the crowd. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate you for the lift. I go to turn up in the crowd. Thank you, sir. Just stay tuned. Yo, what's going on, y'all? We just finished our day backstage at Rolling Loud Toronto, day three. Shout out to Tan and his whole team, Giuseppe, Simon, Token even. Y'all really plugged it up, so I appreciate y'all to the fullest. We linked up with Fat Nick and Puya. Seen Xavier Wolf, but we didn't really have time to approach him like that. Let's just turn up for the rest of the day. Summer Smash not too long ago. He goes crazy live. Y'all gotta see it. But stay tuned for some content. Let's go. All right, y'all, Rolling Loud Toronto 2022, the first Rolling Loud ever in Canada. All three days were fun. Day three was probably the best because we actually managed to get backstage. We saw Ski Mask that day. The only thing that really frustrated me is that I did not get to see Ice Spice. I'm actually super heated about that. Overall, Rolling Loud was a success. Look out for the OGZ interview coming soon. Stay on the lookout for the one track first ever event. Mm, keep that on the low. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Lots of long form content coming all year round. Like this video and drop a comment. Let me know who we should link up with next. Peace, y'all.